Hey guys, fan of my 22 here, and I am back with another part of I Want to Kill the Camellia 2. And forgive me with the previous video and before. I thought this was part, I think this would have been part 17, but no, this is part, I believe this is part 15. Because I realized when I look back on my videos, I, I looked at the, the last part I uploaded, which was the custom music against Geezer, it was part 12, so the next videos were 13 and 14, and this one is 15, so ignore what I said about part 16 or 15. So, sorry for that confusion, but I'm back with this game. I knew I wasn't going to finish this before New Year, or I should say before 2016. By the way, today is, well, it's 10.30 p.m., Today is January the 1st, you know, and oh, and I forgot to say, Happy New Year's. I did say it on Skype pretty late, but Happy New Year's to you all. I hope you had a very good 2016, and here's to us all having a very good and better 2017. Because, I mean, there's a lot that I'm going to be doing this year, and there's probably a lot to talk about, too. And you know what? I'm going to just tell you guys right now in this video, because I was trying to get into work earlier, but I may just restart. When my mother, and, um, this is something, actually no, I'm gonna just probably let you know through Skype or something. I'm gonna do a test stream later tonight, because when my mother goes to bed, I'm gonna go on ahead and set up my stream, and then I'm gonna do a test run. Um, for those who can come up and, and see, and see me, uh, you know, see my stream, come on in, but if not, that's okay. But I actually did a small test run before. But it was really, really, really late, like 5 in the morning, and that was super late, but you know, I already went, I already got to sleep. But, um, I'm gonna do another test run to see how that goes, because I did some changes. Because the, here's the thing, the gameplay went through and everything, but I had a little pixel problem. The pix it would look pixelated, and there was like a little bit of frost, not frost, but like del delay in the, uh, in the, in the video. Like, it only activates whenever I'm playing, versus when I'm at the selection. You can barely see it on the selection screen because I did Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, of course, Splatoon, and uh, a little bit of Super Mario Maker. But again, all that did not. Everything went well. It's just that it was pixelated and kind of, I guess you could say, foggy or something. But it, it looked like it wasn't in place right. So I'm gonna be doing. I'll probably put it on Skype too. But I'm gonna t do a test stream later. I'm not gonna stream too long, but it's just a good test. So come join if you want to see me. Um, I'll probably put, like I said, I'll put in uh, some type of. Uh, I'm getting ready to stream in about a couple of minutes or in one hour or something. We'll see. Cause there's no. I don't have anything special like a layout or anything yet. This is just me testing the stream. Sheesh. I want to be the unknown. This stage looks annoying, of course, but that's okay, because I'd rather be on this stage than on the other one, which was something to do with... something to do with, uh, Miku. Yeah, this was a stage I... Yeah, the previous stage was Rainbow Miku, which was a pain. Because I jump at the end, you have to do, like, the align... the pixel align jump, like you did in that other... the, the other room with the kid's head. I want to be the something that, that you go and have to be Geezer. But that align jump is what helps you reach, and then when you pass, I just double jump and hold and go to the right, but don't touch the spike. Now, I already explained in the last event that, or last video, that it took me multiple tries, but I ended up cutting them all out because, you know, there was no way to see all my failures, and I wasn't yelling or anything, it was just frustration. So anyway... This part here is just a little tricky because the spikes are slanted, so you just have to move at a. You have to just keep going at a certain. Um, you have to keep going at a certain. Wow, I pushed way too. I pushed four way too much there. You have to just go in a. You have to. Uh, it's really hard to explain. And that jump right there is annoying because you have to basically jump from the right spot and then double jump. No, you have to first do a, a good single jump, get close as over the spike as you can, and double jump and hold left to, so that you can make it. I think that's how you do it. And that jump there, the way I do it is I jump, and then as I'm about to touch the ground, I double jump and hold and hold right. 
but sometimes I mess that up, because I can't, you know, yeah, see like that. You have to get as close as you can to the ground without touching it, and then hold right and double jump. See, I'm practicing. See, there it is, right there. That's what you have to do. So it's not, it's just tricky, but not impossible. Now this part is a, is a bit harder. See this little, see that part in the middle? You're wondering, how do you jump through that? It's an annoying jump, basically. You have to do a big single jump, get through it, and as you get through it, double jump and go right. But also, don't go to the right too much because of the spikes to the right. Trust me, it's very, very, very annoying. Also to say, I actually did do a post commentary for this video, but just like the video of the Lucina Amiibo, which I uploaded not too long ago, uh, the la there was a lag that kicked in and it caused my uh, commentary to get to sync. I don't know why it's lagging, like the lag happens randomly, and when it happens randomly, my commentary gets to sync, which is pretty dumb, I don't know why it does that. And when I tried to use the commentaries, the second half got desynced anyway for some reason. So I don't know what's going on with this computer. I really don't know what's going on. But at this rate, I might as well go back to doing let, uh, playthroughs and walkthroughs without commentary if it's going to keep doing that. Seriously. So I'm trying to get into Let's Play so there's some type of feeling to this so you guys know how I felt. But, you know, if it keeps doing this, it's just going to be difficult or almost or just not possible at the moment. Oh, I, 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 I pushed, I was off to the right too much. So it's January 2017, huh? Wow. So, how was your year? What are you guys are devoted to doing? Say so in the comments if you want to. But right now, you know, I'm gonna try and stream. Now with streaming, though, I can only stream PS3 and Wii U, but I'm going to be streaming the Wii U because basically I have more stuff on the Wii U than I do a PS3, because PS3 I have like old games. I don't have a PS4 or Xbox One yet, because you only you can only stream what you have or start off with whatever stream you got. Because I know with PS4, you can, PS4 or Xbox One, I know you can stream from that system, but you know, I won't know until like, until I get the game. Also, do you, just a quick question. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get killed there. Darn it. Just a quick question though. There's two types of PS4 systems. PS4 the original and the PS4 Pro. If I recall, doesn't the PS4 PS4 Pro is an upgrade version of the PS4? But does it matter which PS4 you get? Dang it. Because I looked it up about what the difference between the PS4 is. I think PS4 has Pro has like better engines or intel graphics or processing or something well the ps4 i guess lacks it a little bit but you wouldn't tell the difference and quite a few people said they had trouble with the ps4 finally i made it i want it in the blood festival sounds violent this room is actually not that bad it's only bad because of the top where i am and a little annoying in the middle but once you get to the bottom you're good to go Now. But yeah, what's the difference between the PS4 and the PS4 Pro? Because I actually am curious to know what the difference is. Because I'm actually trying to go for the PS4. Uh, I don't think I want the PS Pro 4 because the people, a lot of people say that that has, that has a bit of a bug to it. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, Sony has fixed that or is fixing that. But I want to make sure which one I need I really should get so I don't run into problems or run into any bugs or errors on the game. Cause I know Maximilian dude who owns the PS4 and all that, he had, he said he had trouble with it but was able to get around it somehow, but I forgot how he did it because I haven't seen this video in a little bit. But you know quite a few people said the PS4 Pro has a has some type of bug problem to it. Okay, what happens in this part is, that first spike will try to get you, the second part, you have to jump in between there, 
you have to jump through that gap or else that spike will get in your way. And, if, and you have to be quick too, because if you don't move it, that spike blocks your path and you have to start again. And then, of course, I had to jump into that gap because there's a spike that comes down. And it's basically trying to trick you into going into jumping into the spike. But I messed up because I touched the edge of the spike, but you know, it's not hard or impossible, I should say. And I'm surprised I, I landed on that spike. The way it works with Camellia is that when a level becomes really hard, you, ad you like get used to it or adapt to it pretty quickly the more you try because you find a rhythm like a rhythm to help getting through these uh, tight corners and all. But like I said, people play this game if they have the patience for it. While, you know, others who don't like it means that their their patience is thin. They're not very patient. Well, I shouldn't say patience, but, you know, it's like a strategy that builds, that you kind of keep thinking of. Like, you, you have to keep going until you see a weak point or, or see a exposed weakness in the game or something. If that makes sense. If not, oops. And I died again. Darn it. Come on. Okay, I made it. There we go. I got too close last time, so I got back and then ran for it. So it works. I hit my head. I kind of did a, a mid jump and then double jump to make sure I didn't. Well, you saw what I did. Actually, let me do it from here. Cause... So yeah, see, that's easier. Because if I try to jump from that side, I'm always going to hit the spike. Ah. Oh! A jerkish trap, of course. Oh, okay, okay, calm down, kid. Calm down, kid. 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 Okay, this is just me dying stupidly. There we go. There we don't go. That's not it either. Don't get back. Thank you. Whenever I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little impatient. That's why I'm dying like an idiot. See. I was trying to see, I, I messed that part up. I, I pushed, I didn't push left enough. See, I'm, I almost had it. Double jump, work with me, please. Whoa. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't make that. Because I, I didn't want to jump into those, those spikes, but I ended up not having enough height. Nope. Now, please, thank you. I actually knew that was going to happen. I meant to push jump, but I pushed it too late. I'm not surprised at all. Darn it. Darn it. Too early. There we go. Nope. Get up. Wow, I hit my head. That sucks. Nope. Jump up here. I did it again. Come on, I hit the jump button. Work with me. But I have to say though, I am getting closer to beating this game. Well, not closer, but I'm getting there. Okay, I made it. Now, what you have to do here is jump here and jump there. Because if you try to jump down there, that gap will appear. And if you're on top, those two spikes will hit you. That's the trap, so don't fall for it. There's a trap there, and that's a gap there. Oh, and there was another trap there. But after that, there's no more traps. And of course there's that type of jump. Nope. Okay, right here, where I'm about to, where I already passed the area, make sure you jump and go to the right. If you go if you just move to the right, something on something kills you. I don't know if it's a spike or something, but the kid dies in that spot. So make sure you jump and go right. It's like with the, it's like with um, what's that stage? I forgot. It's one of those those jerkish trap stages where you think you made it, then you die for nothing. Yeah, trust me, that's the trap. And I meant to get this done before December, but no, nope, I didn't think I would do so because I was. Actually, I was sick, and because I was busy with, you know, work, work, with, uh, well, I, well, it's not work, but I was helping out with, with things. Finally, that actually took quite a few tries, but I edited those parts out, because I was getting nowhere fast. I 
have to say this part right here is not fun at all. This part is annoying. I thought I could I thought this would be a little easier. And when you play this, you, that theory becomes just no. This area is not easy at all. I supposed to do? I mean, I need to get past these three cherries, or two, because I can't touch the middle. Those fast spinning cherries, then there's the same thing, but those cherries are faster, and then there's the, there's getting past those cherries that randomly move left to right, or side to side, or up and down, or diagonal. Oh boy. And then there's the other ones with, with that are the same, but the only difference is they don't have a middle cherry. And there, oh yeah, and everything is water physics, because otherwise you have no way of beating this. And it's called, I want to be the diary. So it's pronounced diary. <sighs> I never heard, trust me, all these, I want to, the only thing I'm, I'm familiar with, with I want to be whatever, or I want to series, would be I want to be the guy. I want to kill the Camellia 1, I want to be, I'm sorry, I want to be the best, which is like Pokemon basically, I want to, this, I want to kill the Camellia 2, I want to be the Boshi, um, I guess I want to kill the Camellia 3, but I haven't played it that much, and then there's, actually there's another game I found, which is a, uh, I want to be the Koa, which looks fun, and then there's I want to be, uh, I want to take the time machine, and then I, and I already I want to kill the guy. So, you know, there's still there's a lot of I want to series, but too much for me to keep up. They're just as much as Toho. So, good luck trying to play them all. If that's what you're gonna do, which isn't really worth your time. They're fun, but there's a limit to how much you, there's a limit to how much you can keep going. But that's me talking. You know, I'm not speaking for everyone. You know. Okay. Okay. Yes! And look, you can shoot the... Oh, you can shoot the save from here. I actually just found that recently from Merg's video. If you could, sh you could shoot the save from there. If you could not shoot the save, there's no way in heck I would ever get through this within, like, without we dying for three weeks. I probably would not be able to get through here within three weeks. That's my guess, because this would have been so frustrating. If you could not shoot that save, you would have never seen me play this for another three weeks. Because this game is too annoying. It's too frustrating. It's all the pain filled as you would go through this this nonsense. Uh. See what I mean? How these cherries move in the direction they want to move? Look, they changed again. If it wasn't for that save, you would not be able to get through this. Like, it's stupid. You have to go through all this and then reach that and then... Oh, boy. I can't, I'm going to stop complaining. But... My freaking goodness. This level is so, so annoying. Ow. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Come on, go through, please. Oh, I made it through, but I touched the cherry. Well, the cherry hit me. Okay, I made it through here. Now I just gotta make it through there. And the timing is really, really annoying because of the speed. See, I was looking at the two cherries, but that one fast cherry got me because I got the timing off. To people who who can speedrun this game, kudos to you guys. That's taking a lot of practice. Hmm. 
No, you didn't hear me yawn. <laughs> okay, maybe I did yawn. Dang it, that's what I get for yawning. But I will beat this game. But I don't know if I'm ever gonna play another. I want to see it. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play any Camellia series after this. Because I know there's a third Camellia, and I already said I'm not gonna. I'll attempt that maybe, but I'm not gonna beat it. This Camellia to me is one of the hardest series so far. I'm probably wrong about that, but to me, Camellia is hard because of because whatever else is supposed to be harder than Camellia, I don't think I want to know. to say at the moment just keep on dying come on kid get through this plot uh, maybe the reason why I'm not talking this much is I'm not really angry because trust me if I know I know for the fact you're probably wondering why am I not doing this live and not and doing it post commentary uh, doing a post commentary basically because as I hope maybe I already said this maybe I forgot but I think the reason I'm not doing this as a live commentary because well it's proven to oh hold on hold on yes 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 i made it i made it i'm gonna have to hold you're gonna have to hold that well, actually i have some time left this is i want to be the pyf what does pyf mean and this what what am i supposed to do in that room because the spikes cut off like i feel like something's supposed to a spike's supposed to fall if I'm in the, if I'm in that room somehow, if I, don't, if I can stop dying, okay. I'm hoping that the game lagged and not me, because I saw a little lag, and I'm hoping that it doesn't sync my commentary. If it does, I apologize. No, I think that's the lag in the game. Because like I said, I tend to get random lag in the game. Because if it was lagging at a point where I know there was no lag, then I know for the fact that it's, it's my computer lagging. Versus, you know, the actual game. But anyway, um... I decided to do post-commentary because it's actually gotten a lot harder for me to talk and play at the same time. Because when I... Because in the past videos, I actually didn't speak that much because I was concentrating. And I felt that because of that, you wouldn't hear me react as much. You know, I do try to react the way I can when I was, when how I felt when I actually played the game. But I actually, you know, I actually do, did a, ugh. You know, if I ever get frustrated, I actually do take that same feeling and put it in the post commentary so you guys know exactly how I felt versus just saying, oh, it wasn't that bad when it was horrible. But trust me, I'm trying to make this, I'm trying to, I knew I was going to die there. I was, tr I'm trying to make this entertaining for you guys, but it'll have to be through post commentary versus commentary, live commentary. Cause live co commentary is really difficult to do. Like it's, like, you know, it's really difficult to, it's really difficult to, uh, pull this off, at least for me, because I just need more practice with it, but, you know, I'm still not at the point where I feel like I can, you know, pull it off. I can tell you guys right now, you won't really see me go that far in this in this little room. So part 16 is probably where I'll advance if I advance. This room looks terrible to advance. Because there's only two saves, the beginning and that one in the middle, and then I have to make it to the end somehow. But at least I made it through I wanna beat the unknown. Uh I wanna be I wanna end the blood festival and I want to, I want to be the diary, or diary. 
So, I have to admit, I passed three screens, or stages, I should say. How am I gonna do this? This looks like it looks like I gotta time my jump. If I go too high, I hit the spike. Too low, I touch those spikes. Oh my goodness, I didn't push forward enough. Darn it. Oh boy. Let's see, can I make it this time? Nope. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the commentary here. So, I'll see you guys on part 16 and... Happy 2017! Bye!